I'm Chris with Solar Tech TV. Uh, what we have here, I received these and I got a, a hundred solar cells. And uh, these are small, but like I say, I'm doing a very custom installation for a solar panel. These things are wafer thin. very brittle so handle them very carefully we're going to see if we can't tab uh, just one side of this you've got the cathode side and the anode side the cathode side's the blue side and the anode side is the white side or the back side of the solar cell and since we're here in the all solar powered workstation we're going to turn on our inverter for power for our soldering iron and we're going to be using solar power to make our solar cells let that heat up what we need to do here is cut tabs this is called tabbing wire and we're going to set these things up basically these things are going to be side by side each one of these is uh, 0.75 inches wide by 2 inches long. So two of them together there make about an inch and a half. So we're going to cut our tab wire 1 and 1 quarter inches long. So I've made a little mark here on a piece of paper. And I like to use wire cutters can use scissors for this. I like to use wire cutters. And we need to cut some tab wire. I'm going to be making 40 cells, so I need 40 pieces of tab wire. I like to cut all my tab wire up or you know, get a good bunch of it going. And then start doing the soldering on the cells. And I do have a very nice method for soldering this tab wire to the cells. Okay, I've cut up some tabbing wire, and just to uh, give you a, an idea of how this all works, for soldering, you need a cloth or a sponge that's wet, just put it in a small bowl with some water, just a little bit of water in there, enough to keep that moist, and you'll need your soldering iron as well as a little bit of solder and a flux pin. These usually come with the solar cells. You can buy them in kits as well as the tabbing wire. It comes in the kit. And uh, what we need to do here is just place the rosin on the tab of the solar cell on the cathode side. I'm going to go ahead and do all six of these pieces that I have down here. Very important that you put the rosin onto the tabs. Now here's how you use a soldering iron. This is a proper method. You want to make sure that it's hot enough first off. We did just turn it on. We're going to make sure that we actually have a high enough temperature to melt solder. We do. And the first thing you want to do is shock your soldering iron. That's going to clean it, make it nice bright silver. Let's back up here. We're going to place a tab wire on here to where it just almost covers the entire 
cell. I have this, this is important, a wood stick. This is a barbecue skewer. And uh, you need that to hold down your tab wire. So you hold down that tab wire. Once you know you've got a nice straight piece on there, it's covering up the solar cell tab properly, then you can use your soldering iron. Once again, you shock it. Put just a tad bit of nice fresh solder on there. This is going to help make a nice quick flow from the tabbing wire onto the solar cell. And then you just run the bead down the solar cell tab. And that's one done. We're going to do about six of them here just to show you how it's done. Make sure you got it down. Once again, put that piece of tabbing wire onto the solar cell tab, cathode side, can be a little tricky, they're just little pieces you know. Make sure that wire is somewhat straight. Wood stick, hold it in place, take your soldering iron, shock it on your sponge or wet rag, so it's nice and silver in color, just a, just a dab of solder, just to help that flow get started. Place it on the tab wire, this one moved a little bit. real happy with that one, but that one will work. Place that tab wire onto the solar cell cathode side. Hold it down with your wood stick. Shock your soldering iron. It'll come out so nice and clean. A little bit of solder, just a dab. And get that bead going. Just run it on down. You're going to do that for each one of your solar cells. You can buy them tabbed. In lar when you buy larger cells, you can get them with tabs already installed, which is a nice thing. Since this is such a custom solar panel, and I have to use these small solar cells, they just don't sell them that way. Hold it down with your stick, shock it. A little bit of solder. And the flow just starts right away. sure you put rosin on each one of these pieces that you're going to work with. Otherwise the flow will not happen. You're just wasting your time. Shock your soldering iron. Just a, just a dab of solder. Flow happens immediately if you've done it right. These tabs come with solder on them, ready to go. But it's a good idea to do this method that I'm talking about, especially when you're working on the cathode side.
Get your tab wire on the cathode tab. Hold it down with your wood stick. Shock your soldering iron. A little dab of solder. Just a dab. The flow will happen immediately if you've done it right. And you're well on your way to tabbing all of your solar cells.